hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you yet another ai tool called as chat all chat all is a client it's a client to various large language models whether they are running locally or they are running with an api based or token based model provider so in this video we are going to install it and then we will see how it works large language models or llms based ai bots are really and truly sublime but their behavior can be random and different bots excel at different tasks if you want the best experience don't try them one by one as per this tool chat all which is um, open source and free can send a prompt to several ai bots concurrently or at the same time helping you to discover the best results all you need to do is to download install and ask from chat all typical user use cases of chat all could be that it can be considered as gurus of llm who want to find the best answer or creation from llm so you can primarily run these llm side by side as you can see on this screenshot and there are heaps of them researchers of llms who want to intuitively compare the strengths and weaknesses of various llms in different fields can run different prompts on different llms at the same time also if you are heavily into llm application development and you want to quickly debug prompts and to find out which prompt works best with which model this tool could help and as i said this is just a client it is not a server for example um, you can use it with OpenAI, you can use it with Cohere, Claude, ChatGPT, Gemma, Gradio, Grok, um, Perplexity, Pi, uh, Skywork, UChat, Zephyr, Tongi, Qnwen, and various other LLMs. The list keeps growing. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description and I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs so do check them out. Okay so having said that let's go back to chat all. There are various other features uh, available on chat all for example it provides you quick prompt mode where you can send the next prompt without waiting for the previous request to complete which is quite good even you can save chat history locally you can highlight the responses you like and you can enable disable any bots at any time and you can switch between one two or three column view and we will see shortly now in order to get it installed go to their github github repo page and i'm going to drop the link in video's description and then installation is fairly simple thankfully all you need to do that on this github repo on the right hand side scroll up you see that there is a releases section just click on latest here and the good thing is that you can install it on windows you can install it on um, mac and you can install it on any flavor of linux as i am running ubuntu 22.04 so i'm just going to download it for that otherwise for windows all you need to do is to just find out what are the latest release as you can see i'm scrolling down these are the assets for the windows packages you will see that if you scroll down there is this win exist which you can simply download and uh, simply double click and next next it is going to install it so i'm just going to go with my uh, because i'm running debian here so i'm just going to go with the linux uh, debian package and as i am running um, on the x86 or 64 bits i'm just going to go with the first one and i'm just going to right click and save link as i'm just going to save it in my downloads folder here let's click on save and this is a debian package yes i'm running ubuntu but debian packages are supported on ubuntu and if you don't know what the difference between debian and ubuntu is debian is a very old very stable one of the oldest linux distribution or flavor i think it was released somewhere around 1993 whereas ubuntu is more recent it was it is based on debian and it was released in early 2000s um, debian is more stable more secure there is a longer life cycle for it to get updates whereas ubuntu gets updated every few months like six months or so so ubuntu is more cutting edge whereas debian is more stable okay so 
okay so now we have downloaded it let me launch my terminal and you can see that i'm running this ubuntu 22.04 and by the way this is my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram courtesy mass compute let's go to downloads folder and if i do ls here you will see there is a debian package available chat all and i'm just going to say sudo and then dpkg i and dpkg it is just uh, for the package management and i'm just going to run this chat all one and you can see that it is unpacking and it is going to install it so let's wait for it to get finished and my debian package is installed now now there are various ways of running it you can run it from terminal or you can just click on these dots and then you can just simply type here chat all and you will see that your chat all is here just select it and it is going to launch it and it has already launched it let me make it a bit bigger okay that is cool and then the first step you need to do is to just click on this cock icon on the top right for the settings and you can see that there are a lot of settings here for example this is a theme i always prefer the dark one it is easier to show and easier on the eyes and then you can set your proxy if you're running behind a proxy um, in the production environment of course and then for example if you want to go with azure you can select your org and all that stuff or you can just go with chat gpt all you need to do is to just um, click here and then you can for example if i am going to click here so and i click login here it is going to attach my chat gpt account with this and then on the left hand side there are various options gemini Credio, hugging chat kimi lmsys and you can see that you can even go with open AI's api there you go so you can just need to provide your api key so let me put my api key here and i'll then save it and uh, exit and i have set some of the api keys for grok for um, open ai and also for cohere so if you click on these three dots on the bottom right you will see that the, this is where you can select your models which you want to go with for instance i have selected this llama 3 8 billion with grok api and if you scroll down scroll down i have selected few others like this one command light gpt4 open ai and then there are few others selected i'm just going to unselect this vicuna um so and you can select as many as you like interestingly enough i didn't couldn't find o llama here any locally one so uh, maybe i'm missing something but i don't see it here anyway so i'm just going to go here and then when you ask a question like what is happiness press enter and you see all of these models are giving you the response side by side and if you look in the middle you can just go with two screens only one window or you can just divide it into three panes so pretty cool and you can select as many models as you like and from just looking at here you can tell which model gave you the best response do you think this concise response of openai gpt4 is good or command light is good or the grox llama 3 8 billion is good so i think really good stuff um, in terms of comparing the output of the model you can just select any model from here and i will keep looking if i could see if i could find how to uh, use the olama i will just make another video and we'll have fun with a lot of other local models but until then i think still a good tool uh, quite happy with the tool let me know what do you think i will drop the link to this repo in video description play around with it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps and thanks for watching